Hi everyone. I have a really beautiful book to read to you today about chickadees. Do you ever see any birds outside your windows? Or when you're on a walk? Or maybe on your way to school? Birds are everywhere and if you look up in the trees or sometimes even on the ground, you might see one. This book is called Chickadees at Night by Bill O. Smith and illustrated by Charles R. Murphy. The sun comes up, chickadees tweet, chickadees flit, chickadees eat. They dip and dart through a tangle of trees, chittery, flittery chickadees. But sometimes near the end of day, chickadees fly away, away, through the branches, out of sight. Where do chickadees go at night? After dipping and darting for dining for hours, and they do they climb to the clouds? Do they scrub in the showers? Or filing into hollow birches? Do they come to rest on hidden perches? Not a peep heard anymore, except for the tweez of grandfather snore. Do they rise as one on the call of the loon? Do they come to rest on a crescent moon? And that moon with its smiling sideways lips, is that really a chickadee clips? No, that can't be, that's too far for a chickadee. Away they fly, away, away, I'll bet they say. Let's play. Let's tickle our tummies in windy trees, swing, swaying in the breeze. Do you see how the words go around in a circle, like they're flying with the chickadees? Let's turn each spider web unseen into a chickadee trampoline. Look. A tip of tail, a point of beak. Are chickadees playing hide and seek? Do you see the chickadees? Can you find them on the page? Yeah, there they are. Oh, can you see them on this page? There are no words on this page, just a picture for us to look at. What do you see? Yeah, I saw that too. Good eyes. And what is more fun than a moonlit whirl on the furry back of a flying squirrel? Unless it's even funner yet to glide on an owl like a jumbo jet. Wow, look at that picture. Do you see all of the little chickadees flying on the owl? Which one would you rather ride on? The flying squirrel or the owl? I think I'd pick the flying squirrel. On summer nights do grown-ups munch on gourmet grubs and beetle crunch. Not everyone knows that chickadees chirp, but after those snacks do chickadees. And out of sight of mom and pop, do teens boogaloo at the chickadee hop? Do the girls fluff up and shake their stuff while the boys hang out and try and look tough? Hmm. When chickadee chicks are feeling blah, do they clip their claws at the chickadee spa? When a chickadee child is feeling down, do lullabies rise over chickadee town? When summer green turns into gold, do great and small and young and old gather for ancient tales retold of chickadee kind and chickadees bold. Green to gold, gold to white, how do they keep warm on a winter night? With chickadee caps on chickadee heads, do they sleep eight across on chickadee beds? Should we count how many are in the bed? Let's count them together, ready? One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven, eight chickadees in the bed. Thanks for counting with me. From northern woods to the Alabamas, what do chickadees wear for pajamas? When so many millions fly away, why do these tough little chickadees stay? Are they out there now on this starry night, just past the spill of bedroom light? Close your eyes, snuggle in. Can you see on a little branch in a nearby tree, one bold, one kind little chickadee? No matter what this long night brings, are we safe beneath its sheltering wings? I hear the answer inside of me. Phoebe, Phoebe, chickadee. Can you hear it inside of you? Phoebe, Phoebe, chickadee dee. We hear, little bird, your ancient song. Wherever you are is where you belong. Thanks, guys.